Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to, I don't know, another freaking video, but I want to let you guys know, well, uh, everybody, the reasons why I do what I do. And this is one of the reasons why I do what I do. And you might have seen it when I turned around, but I have a little bit of an obsession with cars. So let me show you it. I just got it washed. Sorry, the garage is kind of messy, but this is a 2013 BMW 335iS, white and black, of course. Completely changed the car from when I got it. Black BBS wheels, M3, M3 uh, just, I'm gonna run through the parts. M3 GTS splitter, um, color changing side, black side markers, M3 um, mirrors, tinted windows, um, M3 GTS wing, essentially. Then um, I didn't really change the exhaust, but I'll tell you what I did to, well, I did change the exhaust, but um, I added a diverter valve so it can get louder or quieter. Um, I wrapped this, so that's nice. And I wanted it to be like, um, the, the theme of all of this was um, yin and yang. So I actually had no idea that this was the storm color. Well, I knew that it was the storm co the stormtrooper color, but I didn't know it was named the stormtrooper color scheme. But you can kind of got the yin and the yang, and they kind of work together. And I am running a full VRSF, full bolt-on system with the N54, of course. And we're going to look inside. I did some really basic modifications to the inside. So. Okay. I added some blue LEDs. Um, they come that are on the doors and that are back there too. I wrapped them all around. Carbon fiber interior components. Um, so like this, this, you know, this carbon fiber handle, uh, trim piece. I added the red button because I need the red button, <laughs> red start button, M3 gauge cluster. Um, and of course the driver's side blue lights. And I'm just about to, um, get these Alcantara wrapped, uh, because I really like it. And also carbon fiber door handle things but yes um but yeah full bolt-ons so it does make a pretty decent amount of power which i love so it's about 400 ish horsepower and this is all-wheel drive by the way i i wanted to get the manual but i couldn't get the manual with the all-wheel drive so um i got the automatic but it's all-wheel drive so i can do good in the snow with subies and it's the X drive, so I can send, I can turn off the front differential and send 100% of the power to the back if I want to do burnouts or something like that. But it does look pretty darn clean in general. And carbon fiber wrapped roof, you know, the entire works. So hope you guys like my build. By the way, I've been building this since I was 15 and a half. I'll put a photo of what it used to look like in about right now but yes it does look a lot better now i love the white and black and then also it matches my mom's car yeah so guys that is my car and i want to also show you guys the uh a sound clip of it because currently i have to get an admission because i've had it for over two years uh actually man it's been like three almost i had it when i was uh 15 and a half because I found a really good deal on one. I was like, I gotta go pick that up. So it sat in the garage, literally right over there where those two trash cans are for literally six months, but before I got to drive it. And I was just driving it through the neighborhood. I didn't have any plates, I didn't have nothing. But I've been building it since I was 15 and a half. So I have to get it uh, re-emissioned. So I had to put the stock exhaust back on. So, but it does sound like this. But yeah, that is my car. So thank you for watching. See you later. Just wanted to give some inspiration for people that, um, I don't know, you can achieve the dream. I mean, I'm 18. I work really freaking hard. 
I've been working hard for over five years now, and you know this is my dream. And I've always wanted to buy this car. The M54 is always my one of my favorite engines, and yeah, full bolt-ons. It's pretty fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. 